Hold on, hold on. Yeah. All right. We the Hebrew Israelites. We come out week in and week out to prophesy against the, the, uh, the, the land of our captivity, which is known in the, in the Bible as Babylon the Great, but which you all know it as the U.S. of A, the United States of America. We're here to prophesy against it, just like the ancient prophets that prophesied against kingdoms before they fell, where the Heavenly Father sent this, his service to come right back out once again in, in modern day to prophesy against the new kingdoms that are, that are arising upon the face of the earth, all right? First and foremost, we'd like to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh which are the true names of the Heavenly Father and His Son, all right? We'd like to give double honors to our elders that rule well under Great Millstone, all right? We would like to uh, give salutation and peace to all the brethren that's out there laboring in this word with sincerity and in truth throughout the planet Earth, all right? Now, uh, basically, um, we out here because we're commanded by the Heavenly Father to come out and speak His word, whether you hear it or whether you forbear it, all right? But our job is to come out and warn you, to give you, to, to, to give you the tokens uh, of the signs that are, that are coming to pass. If you don't realize the tokens or the signs of the times, then you must not know that the Heavenly Father is getting ready to send His Son to come back to redeem His elect throughout the four winds of the earth. All right? If you're not of this, uh, the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, then you are not of uh, the Lord's chosen people. The Lord's chosen people are you so-called Negroes, who you call African Americans today, you so-called Hispanics, you know, you, you so-called uh, Puerto Ricans, uh, Haitians, Dominicans, Guatemalans, Panamanians, you are the children of Israel. Right. All right, but you're being called by names and proverbs today because you were you were oppressed and you were taken from your nationality and, and, and brought under captivity and, and your heavenly heritage. That's right. All right. So our job is to come back to, 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 to wake you up out of that deep sleep that you were in, to wake you up back to your nationality, to, to tell you to get right before the Heavenly Father judge this place. And, and, and to come back to the laws, the statutes, and commandments that he commanded us since the beginning. All right? Now give me that in uh, Jeremiah. Huh. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 17. Thou therefore gird up thy loins and arise, uh -huh. and speak unto them all that I command thee. Yeah, and he commanded us to go unto the children of Israel, which are you hard-headed as Negroes, Hispanics, and Natives. You know, we try to wake you up and tell you you, you the Lord's chosen people, but it seems like you don't really care. Right. No matter how many times we try to prove it to you out of the, out of the Bible, you fan your hand or you, you walk past it like it doesn't concern you. Right. So if you don't want to deal with the, the, the program of the Heavenly Father, the Heavenly Father, he's not gonna, he's not gonna deal with you. Right. He's gonna reject you when the time of judgment is here. All right? And we are entering into that time now. Go ahead. It says, uh, be not dismayed at their faces, lest I confound thee before them. That's right. So our job is to come out here, and we're not supposed to be afraid of whoever it is that walked up and down here. All right? If you come up here scoffing, you got something smart to say, or you don't like what we're saying, or you come up against us because of who we're speaking, which is out of the Holy, uh, the Holy Bible, we're not supposed to be confounded by that or else we'll get confounded for it, all right? So our job as, as, as um, servants of the Lord is to come out here and prophesy unto you, to, get, to give warning unto the Lord's chosen people before he destroys this place. Because according to prophecy, America will be destroyed. All right, according to the Bible, America is gonna get destroyed with thermonuclear missiles, thermonuclear destruction, all right? You can say that you heard it first from us, if you haven't heard it already. America will be destroyed, all right? Yeah. Go, uh, is there more on that? If not, then go to Ezekiel 3. Let me start up with 2 and 3. This is about 
Uh, Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 2. Matter of fact, verse 1. And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. Uh -huh. The Spirit and the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me, and set me upon my feet, that I heard him that spake unto me. To the Heavenly Fathers who told us to do this. That's to the right. Spirit of the Heavenly Father. He talked to them through our spirit and told us to come out here. That's right. Yeah. He said, and he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel. Unto the children of Israel. Read that again and read a lot of And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel. Unto the children of Israel. If you see your nationality according to your father's sign on this sign right here, then you are a, a child of Israel. What does Israel mean? It's from the Hebrew word Yasha Allah, which means he is the prince of the power or he is the prince of God. All right? So if you are an Israelite, then you are a son of God. All right? So our, our, our job is to come out here and, 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 and talk to you. Right. Because the prophecies are, 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 are for you Israelites, man. Right. But also, according to prophecy, only uh, one third of you are going to wake up to these prophecies. The rest of you, you're not going to listen. You're not going to want to follow through and understand because you feel that everything around you or what society has to offer you is more important than the words of the Heavenly Father. All right? Go ahead, huh? Power us that way. Yeah. I send thee to the children of Israel to a rebellious nation. A rebellious nation. That has rebelled against me. Hey, our people are rebellious. That's how we know who they are. By how rebellious they are. Because they're the only people that we say who are the Lord's chosen people, and they have a problem with that. It's always a, a squirmish or, or a, 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 um, a contention every time we try to tell them that the Lord uh, only died for you and you won't. To, to, to tell you that you, you're above the rest of the nations on the planet Earth, even though you're on the bottom. But you're the only ones that have a problem with that, man. Instead of looking into the spiritual side of it. That's how we know that you're, you're rebellious and that that's talking about you people, man. You Negroes, Hispanics, and Natives. You the, you the, you the most uh, mighty top people on the planet Earth, but yet the conditions that you're living in, you're on the bottom, man. You don't ever question that? Why are you all in the ghettos? You all in the slums together? You have the same common enemy and oppressor, man. You're under curses that you that you, you haven't figured out yet. Why are you living under these uh, conditions? Because it's all spiritual, man. The Heavenly Father got you placed under those curses, man. That's because you disobeyed His word. That's why our people are all in the ghetto and all over the slums, killing each other, selling drugs, gang banging, rape robbing and murdering each other, man. Because you're on the heavy curses that the Lord uh, prophesied about in the Old Testament, man. And that's also how you can prove who the real ch uh, children of Israel are today. All right? Go ahead, huh? It says, to a rebellious nation that has been rebelled against me. Uh-huh. It says, uh, they and their fathers have transgressed against me even to this very day. Uh huh. For they are empty the children and stiff hearted. Yep, they're stiff hearted, man, meaning they're hard headed, man. You know, they hard they neck to whatever the uh, word of the Lord has to say. You know, they, they value their own opinion and emotion over the words of the Heavenly Father, man. Over the true wisdom and understanding. That's why the Lord calls you hard-headed, man. And when we tell you to stop sinning, what do you do? You come against us, we're trying to reprove you. Right, trying to correct you. Trying to correct you. Through the words of the Heavenly Father. That's right, man. I can ask any one of our people out here, what does the word sin mean? I bet you you can't answer that. But you go to church every Sunday, or you so-called believers. You call yourselves Christians. You like to wear the crucifixes around your necks. But when we try to ask you what sin is, you, you have no idea. But that's what our job is, to come out here and, and teach you those things. Right. Go ahead. It says, uh, for they are impudent children and stiff-hearted. 
I do send thee unto them. And thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God. Uh huh. Thus saith the Lord. Yeah. You know? Thus saith the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right? right. Remember the words that we are to speak, man. When Lord we come Lord out Lord. here, those which are his words, man. In the Bible. Go ahead. And then, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. Yeah, whether you listen or not. We don't care if it, if it, if it doesn't resonate with you. Because we understand that this is only going to wake up a certain number of, of people among our nation. The rest of our people are going to be in Disneyland, man. They're going to be off in the world doing whatever they want to do instead of trying to take heed to the, to, the men, to the men of the Lord trying to teach them out of the words of the Heavenly Father, man. And in and, and, and that day, when the Lord sends his judgment, there's not going to be any excuses for it. Because the word did go out and you did hear it, but you chose to fan your hand at it and keep it moving. Keep it pushing. So you ain't going to have no cloak for your sins. All right? Go ahead. I'm so, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall they yet shall know that there have been a prophet among them. So the things that we're speaking unto you, which are the words of the Heavenly Father out of this Bible, when these things come to pass, that's how you're going to know that a prophet, a true prophet of the Lord, has been among you. All right? We out here to, to warn you that America is about to get destroyed, man. Before it gets totally annihilated, it's going to be all type of wars and chaos going on in the streets. Right. Martial law. FEMA camps. FEMA camps being opened up and you people get thrown in them because the government is getting ready to ship you people off into those internment camps. Y'all not ready for that though, man. And this information been out. Hey, let me say like this. It don't matter how many guns you got. That ain't, that can't stop it. They got billions of armor piercing bullets, yep. of hollow point bullets, and armor, and all the tanks, and street tanks, and all of that type of stuff. It ain't enough, you ain't got enough. Yep. So if you don't have a, a, the spiritual protection of your of how about some yellow shot, then you ain't gonna have it, man. It ain't That's for right. you. That's right. Nothing you can do about it. Only thing you can do is to gird yourself up with this, with this Bible, with the word of, of the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of this Bible. That's, That's right. it. That's right. Go ahead. Jump down the uh, Jump down to the left. I didn't hit three. Oh, hit three. Okay, this is Ezekiel chapter three, verse one. It said, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and go speak unto the house of Israel. So he's telling Ezekiel to eat this roll. What is that roll? He's talking about the entire word, man. This, this book, the whole entire Bible. All right? He told him to eat the roll, and after you digest it, go and speak unto the children of Israel. Go ahead. It says, so I opened my mouth, and he called me to eat that roll. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, so he was fed the understanding of, of the scriptures through the, through the spirit, man. And, and, and also, he didn't, it wasn't a choice. He said, he opened my mouth and fed me. That's Not right. He said, I opened my mouth and, and fed myself, or opened my mouth and he fed me. He said, he opened my mouth and fed me. That's you right. don't have, if this is for you, you don't have a chance. You don't have a choice. That's right. Uh, it says, and he called, and he said unto me, son of man, cause thy belly to eat and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Uh -huh. Then did I eat, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. Yep. Said, and he said unto me, son of man, go get thee, get thee unto the house of Israel uh -huh. and speak with my words unto them. So that's what we're out here doing. Just like he commanded prophet Ezekiel after he didn't receive the word to go out there and speak it unto, unto the Lord's people, that's what we're all here doing, all right? And that's what brothers like us throughout the four corners of the earth are doing as well, man. We ain't the only ones out here prophesying this word unto you. There's brothers throughout the states, all over the country, and throughout the world that's, doing, that's out here doing what we're doing. And you can see this day in and day out on your computer through the internet, man. Right. This, this, this knowledge is not hard to find, man. That's if you really want it, but you gotta seek for it, man. Right. It's not gonna just appear on, in front of you, on your lap. The Lord will help somehow, some way, direct you to it if it's meant for you to receive it. 
But that's only if the Lord is, is, is calling you. But, but don't get it misconstrued. A lot are called, but only a few are chosen. Man. So even if you listen, you better hope like hell that you're one of the uh, uh, people that not are only called, but are chosen as well, man. Because only the elect of the nation of Israel are going to be delivered when, when the Heavenly Father sends who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ to come and, and, and save his people, man. And who in the world, who, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ did not die for mankind, all right? Your churches are lying to you. Your pastors are lying to you. He only died for the nation of Israel. All right? Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6, verse 12. Yeah. Says, wisdom is glorious like and never faded away. Uh -huh. Yea, she is easily seen of them that love her and found of such as seek her. That's right, man. Because wisdom will find you, if you as long as you're seeking it and you're doing right by the Heavenly Father, you will get the wisdom. All right? The Lord is only dealing with the humble and contrite spirits, man. Right. His elect are going to be the ones who are humble and of a contrite spirit. And they're seeking the wisdom. Not the proud, everyday uh, spirit that walks up and down and they're enjoying their life, you know? They're in love with what this world have to offer, you know? The American lifestyle, the way of life of America, right. proud to be an American spirit, the Lord ain't dealing with that. If you in that spirit, you gonna be destroyed, man. Right. Because the Lord is against America. Right. Contrary to popular belief. We know your dollar would like to say, God bless America. Yeah, but really it's the opposite. The Lord condemns America. Right. He hates America. Why does he hate America? All the wickedness that goes on. There ain't no truth in this land, man. The ones of our people that love this place, they're going to be destroyed. Thus saith the Lord. So enjoy the, enjoy the Las Vegas Strip while you can. This is 1 uh, John chapter 2, verse 15. It says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. That's right, man. You ain't supposed to love this world, man. Everything in this world is done with corruption. All it is is to get you further away from the Heavenly Father, man. The farther you get into this world, the farther from righteousness you get from the Heavenly Father, man. The more corrupted and polluted you become. And it starts, at, it starts from when you're a child, man. When you're in the, when you're in the world, it's more than likely you're going to raise your child up in the world, man. So what, do your child, what is your child going to absorb while they're growing up during their childhood, man? Nothing but wickedness, man. Nothing but what society feeds them. Whether it be through the through the television programming, through the through the uh, the education system, through the lies being told in these uh, so-called religions, man. Through the philosophies that the so-called white man screw out with his, de his demonic ass doctrines, man. That's what our people. That's what our children are being are spoon fed, man. Right. And they have no choice. Now there's a choice. They don't want it. They don't. It's too difficult for them to. Uh, it's uncomfortable for them to want to uh, to do something contrary to what you know. Right, that's because, that contrary spirit. You're right. Supposed to have it. You're not supposed to take what what just what's given to you. Yep. You're supposed to seek it out and through wisdom you'll find that the right way, the right straight path, the right thing. Right. And yeah, it is more difficult. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. That's right. So if you love America, you don't love the Heavenly Father, man. Right. If you love the so-called white man, which is the devil, who is your enemy, then you don't love the Most High. Right. If you have if you have friendship with the world, you're an enemy of the Most High, man. All right. This goes for you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Natives, man. Come out the world, man. Come out of the ways of this wicked place, man. If you think it's okay to be homosexual, then you're being corrupted by, by the society, man. Right. Come out of that, man. 
or, or get destroyed. Thus saith the Lord. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. That's of the world, man. The lust of the flesh. What comes with the lust? What, what are some of the lusts of the flesh that you people take joy in? Smoking weed, getting high all the time, rolling, rapping blunts and shit, trying to find the, the meanest uh, tree, Cali, that Cali uh, bud and shit, man. You know? Sticking everything that moves. Sticking everything that they see. They don't even, anything that open their legs, that up. Open their legs up. They don't care if she got a disease or if she's the next man's wife. Right. You know? What else is uh, lust of the flesh? The foods you eat. You, 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 you got, a, you got a, a craving for uh, for abominable meat that you're not even supposed to touch. Yeah. You, you just got to have your, your, your pork, man. Yeah. Gotta you you got to throw them bacon strips on that, on that, uh, on that burger, man. You got to have that juicy shrimp cocktail, man. With the with the with the with the uh, with, with, with the sauce you dip in, <laughs> you know, you just gotta have it, man. But that's not of the uh, heavenly Father, man. Read that again. As I said, lust of the flesh. What else? Because these are to show you that you're in the world. If these things go on with you, then you're still of the world, man. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh yep. and the lust of the eyes. The lust of the eyes, 